One of the most magnificent sights you will see on this planet is the Northern Lights. People often ask me what they're really like since we grew up in Alaska. And I have to say they range all the way from dim little streaks to full on bright neon columns shifting in the darkness. Every time anyone would spot them, we would tell everyone in the house and we would all run out and stare at them in awe. They're such a cool thing. If you ever get a chance to see them, it's a memory that you just don't forget. Today's pattern by Susanna is called Aurora, like the Aurora Borealis, which is another name for the Northern Lights. Bye. This is a magnificent shawl design with a nice texture and fun little crossed double crochets which I'm so excited to show you today. It's a fantastic shape that is designed to hug your shoulders and stay put nicely. And I love the size, it feels like a big luxurious blanket. Color changes really add to the flow of this piece. The northern lights aren't static, they're constantly shifting, changing, moving, and I love how the color transitions in this shawl really represent that. And I love the different colors, the greens, the purples, the blues, and the midnight black. We used our hand dyed luster sport yarn to make this, which I know so many folks are obsessed with. It's smooth, it's shimmery, it's soft, it drapes really nicely while also holding its structure well over time. I also love that we chose to make this pattern in our blackberry hues. I grew up picking wild berries in Juneau and they are an incredible experience. They're so sweet, they're so flavorful and just incredibly delicious. My favorite were actually salmon berries, which look like orange blackberries. I'm actually going to be giving away a full set of this blackberry hues today. So to enter just make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and comment below letting me know if you have ever seen the northern lights or the southern light. This pattern uses a really beautiful and fun stitch called crossed double crochets. It creates a really gorgeous texture to your project and I'm excited to show you how to do it. So to get started I'm just going to work two chains and work a double crochet into that first stitch. So to work your crossed double crochet, normally you would work into this next stitch, but we're going to skip that one and work into the stitch after that. So go ahead and yarn over, skip that next stitch, and insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's our first double crochet. So then to work the second one of the crossed double crochet, go ahead and yarn over and we're going to jump back to the stitch that we skipped and insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and give it a little bit of a tug, and then complete your double crochet with a yarn over, pull through two, a yarn over, pull through two. And you can see we've crossed those two double crochets over each other. So to continue on, we're just going to repeat the same thing. Start with a yarn over and you're going to skip the next stitch and insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So there's your first double crochet. Then we're going to jump back to this skipped stitch. Yarn over and insert your hook into the skipped stitch yarn over and pull up a loop, give it a little tug, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there's your second crossed stitches. And it truly is that easy. The rest of the pattern just uses double crochets, single crochets, and chains, so it is quite straightforward to make. I hope you love it so much. Remember to make this an amazing week, find time to create, enjoy each little stitch, and I am gonna see you next week with another new pattern. Bye-bye.